in the picturesque waters off the coast of South Africa, Miguel and his team embarked on a sailing expedition, blissfully unaware of the extraordinary encounter that awaited them, setting anchor at a prudent distance from a vibrant coral reef. Miguel joined his fellow divers in the crystalline waters below to gather crucial environmental data. Initially, their expedition progressed smoothly, without any incidents, the region was famed for its population of humpback whales. And sightings of these majestic sea mammals in deeper waters were a common occurrence, known colloquially as the gentle giants of the ocean. Humpback whales are typically solitary and unobtrusive, however, on this particular day, one whale displayed unusual behavior that caught the team off guard. While Miguel's dive partner returned aboard with collected samples, Miguel decided to stay back to savor the rich marine biodiversity. As a seasoned diver, he felt confident and secure in the aquatic environment, despite the inherent risks, as a pod of humpback whales glided gracefully past. One of the whales unexpectedly altered its course and headed straight towards Miguel. While such encounters are generally regarded as safe, the proximity of such massive creatures warranted a high degree of caution. Miguel attempted to sidestep the approaching whale by swimming in a different direction, but the whale continued to shadow him closely. In a moment of awe, Miguel reached out and touched the whale, feeling a profound connection with the giant creature, but the situation quickly intensified. The whale began to push Miguel downward using its fin. Miguel struggled to swim away as the whale relentlessly pursued him, bringing them dangerously close. The rough barnacles on the whale's skin scraped against Miguel's wetsuit, threatening to tear it. In a desperate bid for freedom, Miguel maneuvered through the water. But the whale's persistent efforts left him feeling increasingly alarmed and isolated. In an unexpected twist, the whale began nudging Miguel gently onto its snout. Despite Miguel's prowess as a swimmer, he was no match for the whale's formidable strength. The whale then pushed him towards the surface, where Miguel finally broke water near the boat, his team now within sight. Even though the humpback whale stayed close by, his crew was still too far to provide immediate help. Facing a creature weighing as much as 30 tons, Miguel experienced a rush of fear unlike any he had felt before. This was a stark contrast to the fascination and admiration he held for these creatures. Having spent much of his life in many diving expeditions observing marine life, including whales, the crew in the nearby safety boat watched in disbelief and concern. They couldn't believe what they were witnessing and needed to think quickly to devise a plan to safely retrieve Miguel from his precarious situation with the humpback whale. What unfolded next would be a dramatic and unforgettable climax to their day at sea. Observers struggled to comprehend the extraordinary scene unfolding before their eyes. It was a rare spectacle. Witnessing a humpback whale displaying such unpredictable behavior, which only deepened their astonishment. In a sudden and startling move, the whale swam directly towards the diver, opened its vast mouth, and seemed to engulf him whole before diving into the deeper waters. In a rush of urgency, several divers plunged into the water, hurrying to the last known location of the diver, known as Miguel. They were unsure of how to proceed. Ordinarily, safety protocols strongly advised maintaining a safe distance from these massive creatures. The sight of a man apparently being swallowed whole was beyond their comprehension and left the team in sheer disbelief. After an agonizing five minutes with no sign of Miguel, the divers reluctantly returned to their boat to call for marine rescue, a heavy silence enveloping the atmosphere. The incident was completely unexpected and unprecedented. Back on the boat, the atmosphere was tense as the whale had vanished into the deep, and Miguel was nowhere to be seen. However, in an astonishing turn of events, Miguel was already on the boat, lying on his back, visibly exhausted and gasping for air, yet miraculously unharmed. He was immediately surrounded and bombarded with a flurry of anxious inquiries from his fellow divers. Miguel began to recount his harrowing experience, correcting their initial fears, contrary to what everyone had thought, including himself. The whale had not attempted to eat him but was instead trying to push him towards the safety of the boat. At first, he had resisted the massive creature's efforts. When the whale opened its mouth, it was natural for onlookers to assume the worst. Perhaps the whale, in its own way, thought this method might better handle the stubborn human, adorned in his scuba gear. Miguel continued to breathe underwater despite his struggles to maintain steady breathing. His extensive diving experience allowed him to stay calm amidst the fear. Upon realizing that the whale was not going to release him, he decided it might be safer to relax and go with the flow, ceasing his resistance. It was only when he finally grasped the whale's true intentions that he understood the situation fully. As this realization dawned on him, 
a massive tiger shark appeared, introducing a new level of danger. Miguel had always been fascinated by sharks, aware of the common misconceptions surrounding them. However, the presence of a tiger shark was cause for genuine concern due to their known aggressive nature. The shark swam around the humpback whale, which seemed to be protecting Miguel, adding another layer to the already dramatic encounter at sea. Miguel remained motionless in the water, his mind racing as he considered whether the shark had been lurking nearby for longer than he had initially realized. It became evident that the whale had been making a deliberate effort to protect him, expending a great deal of its energy in the process. The whale's sole intention was to ensure Miguel's safety by encouraging him to quickly vacate the area and make his way back to the security of his boat. With deliberate and gentle movements, the whale carefully picked up Miguel in its mouth and transported him back to his vessel. Once they reached safety, Miguel extended his hand and tenderly stroked the whale's head in a heartfelt expression of thanks. With that, the whale disappeared into the ocean's depths. Leaving Miguel in awe of its protective grace, after hearing Miguel's harrowing yet heartwarming tale, what are your thoughts? We'd love to see your reactions and insights in the comments section below. Your perspectives are immensely valuable to us. Now, let's dive into another captivating story. On a typical surveillance mission along the picturesque yet unpredictable waters off the coast of Sri Lanka, the crew of a modest-sized patrol boat experienced a jolt of sheer terror that transformed their routine patrol into a dramatic rescue operation. As they navigated through the azure waves, a piercing scream of horror from one of the sailors broke the calm, drawing the crew's attention to a shocking discovery ahead. Captain, look over there, exclaimed Malik, his voice quivering with fear as he pointed towards a mysterious object floating about 100 yards from their location. Captain Rita, known for her steadiness in tumultuous situations, quickly grabbed the binoculars and focused on the indicated area. At first, all that was visible was an indistinct, dark form moving with the rhythm of the sea. However, as they approached nearer, the object's true nature became shockingly clear. It was an elephant, battling the strong currents, astonishingly far from any natural habitat. This can't be real, Captain Rita murmured under her breath her eyes widening in disbelief. The sight was surreal, a majestic land animal, utterly out of its element, struggling to stay afloat in the vast ocean. A flurry of urgent questions flooded her mind. How did the elephant end up so far from land? What could they possibly do to save such a massive creature with the resources available on their small boat? Realizing the gravity of the situation and the immediate danger faced by the elephant, Captain Rita quickly mobilized her crew. Everyone, to your stations, she commanded her voice resonating with urgency. We have a life to save today. As she stashed away her binoculars, the crew gathered. Buzzing with a mix of confusion and urgency, what is it, Captain, what do you see? Asked one of the sailors, his tone laden with apprehension. Taking a deep breath, Captain Rita replied, it's an elephant. Murmurs of disbelief rippled through the crew as they peered towards the sea, spotting the large gray form bobbing helplessly among the waves. Oh my God gasped a crew member, his voice tinged with panic. How is this possible? Another sailor exclaimed in dismay. His finger pointing towards the struggling giant. It's going to drown. We have to do something. Snapping out of the initial shock, Captain Rita knew that immediate action was crucial. Malik, she commanded sharply, cutting through the mounting chaos. Contact the Coast Guard immediately and get in touch with wildlife authorities as well. Malik nodded his hands trembling as he operated the radio, adrenaline coursing through his veins. Coast Guard, this is the patrol boat C. Sudden calm descended, and the elephant, as if understanding its dire situation, ceased its thrashing. Guardian, visibly shaken but steadfast, called out to his team, his voice steadier now, communicating a renewed sense of urgency. Steady, everyone, he commanded, let's bring it home safely, with renewed vigor. Captain Rita and his sailors regrouped, forming a human barrier against the choppy sea waves. They expertly maneuvered around the elephant. Their movements synchronized and deliberate, each sailor knew his role, their eyes communicating silently as they adjusted their strategies with each shift of the turbulent sea. As they coaxed the elephant gradually towards the vessel, the rest of the crew on the boat sprang into action. They deployed ropes and large nets, spreading them out with precision and care. Every member on deck was involved ready to play their part in the delicate operation of lifting the colossal animal aboard. The elephant, its strength waning but its resolve fortified by the concerted human effort, seemed to trust their intentions. The rescue was painstaking, with each step carefully planned to ensure the safety of both the animal and the team. 
Captain Rita continued to speak gently to the elephant, his words a soothing balm to its frayed nerves. Finally, with a mighty collective effort, the crew managed to bring the elephant alongside the boat, using the ropes and nets. They gently but securely hoisted it aboard. The deck became a scene of controlled chaos as they secured the elephant, ensuring it was not only safe but also as comfortable as possible under the circumstances. As Captain Rita surveyed his crew, he saw their exhausted but triumphant faces. The ordeal had been grueling, but the sense of accomplishment was palpable. They had not only saved a majestic creature but had also come together as a cohesive unit under extreme pressure. The cheers that erupted were a mix of relief and jubilation, a celebration of their unity and shared purpose. As they waited for wildlife experts to arrive and take over the care of the elephant, the crew remained vigilant, their eyes never straying from their new charge. They had forged a bond with the elephant, marked by the shared ordeal. Captain Rita, observing the elephant's quiet gaze, saw a glimmer of recognition and perhaps gratitude in its eyes. This mission had been more than a rescue, it was a poignant reminder of their capabilities and the profound connection between humans and nature. As the loud horn sounded across the shimmering water, a voice erupted with urgency, Look, Malik, someone called out, pointing towards the horizon where the silhouette of a Coast Guard vessel emerged, the sleek ship cut through the rolling waves with precision its deck alive with a team of professionals poised for rescue operations. Hang on. Captain Rita assured his anxious crew, his eyes fixed on the approaching salvation, help is on its way. As the vessel drew closer, its crew swiftly deployed robust rescue equipment into the churning sea, including a specialized harness designed to secure large animals. In the water, sailors attempted to calm and secure a visibly terrified elephant into the harness but their efforts were initially thwarted by the animal's overwhelming fear. Relief washed over them when another surge of noise announced the arrival of a helicopter overhead, carrying additional Coast Guard members specialized in wildlife rescue. A rescuer was expertly lowered from the helicopter, attaching a large sling intended to hoist the distressed elephant from the cold embrace of the sea. Over the ensuing hour, the rescuers aboard the Coast Guard ship collaborated with the newly arrived experts, working with a blend of urgency and precision. They managed to secure a rope around the elephant, crucial for stabilizing it during the aerial lift. Once everything was meticulously in place, the wildlife specialists fastened the sling around the elephant as the helicopter's engines roared to life. Amidst the elephant's loud trumpeting, a mix of fear and confusion, the massive animal was carefully lifted and transferred onto the deck of the Coast Guard ship. Upon landing, a team of veterinarians immediately rushed to attend to its needs. With the crisis now under control and the elephant safe, the Coast Guard ship prepared to depart. The assisting helicopter hovered briefly before returning to base. Well done, everyone, Captain Rita exclaimed, acknowledging the successful teamwork with a mix of relief and pride. Let's head back to the boat, however. Their brief moment of celebration was soon interrupted when they docked. A guard officer approached Captain Rita with a grave expression. Captain, we need to discuss something, he whispered ensuring their conversation remained private. This situation isn't just about a missing elephant. We believe there's a larger criminal operation at play here. Captain Rita, looking perplexed, responded, What do you mean? The Coast Guard officer glanced around cautiously before continuing. We've received reports of criminal groups targeting elephants in this region. It appears they are using sophisticated methods to smuggle ivory. Captain Rita's eyes widened as he grasped the severity of the situation. Could it be that this elephant was targeted by these criminals? He pondered, his mind racing with the implications of such a sinister operation, before he could delve further into his thoughts. The officer nodded solemnly, affirming his fears. It's highly likely, Captain. We need your team's cooperation in this investigation. As the team delved deeper into the unsettling discovery, a sudden, loud shout from the Coast Guard ship cut through the tense atmosphere. They turned their attention to the elephant that had been immobile until now but was beginning to stir, struggling to its feet. Something shiny on its gray skin caught the eye of Captain Rita who squinted in an attempt to identify the object. Before long, a wildlife expert aboard exclaimed, Look! It appears to be some kind of harness. He noticed additional attachments as he moved closer to the now unsteady elephant on the deck. His initial curiosity quickly turned to horror as he declared, This isn't just any harness, it's outfitted with devices used for poaching. Captain Rita and the Coast Guard officer hurried to the scene, their expressions a complex tapestry of concern and eagerness to understand more. The wildlife expert, hands shaking, 
gingerly felt one of the pouches attached to the harness and recoiled. These pouches are not only waterproof but they're filled with contraband. He donned gloves and cautiously opened a pouch, revealing a cache of small, ivory-colored objects that they soon realized were pieces of elephant tusks, the Coast Guard officer solemnly noted. They've cut the tusks into smaller pieces for easier transport. A nauseous feeling overcame Captain Rita as she whispered in dismay. So, they've been using live elephants as mules to smuggle ivory, the expert nodded grimly. Exactly, this harness is crafted to fit snugly against the elephant's body, concealing it beneath the water. If this poor creature hadn't been spotted, they would have successfully smuggled these tusks right under our noses. The gravity of the situation now fully dawned on everyone present. What had initially seemed like a straightforward rescue mission was rapidly unfolding into a deeply sinister affair. Captain Rita turned to the Coast Guard officer, demanding a thorough investigation. We need a comprehensive report on this. What details can you provide? She insisted. The officer responded, Our team has been tracking a criminal ring across Sri Lanka that has been targeting elephants. Recently, their tactics have become more sophisticated, shifting from merely harvesting tusks to abducting entire elephants. But why, and how does this explain finding an elephant in the ocean? Captain Rita inquired, puzzled, the officer sighed. We're not entirely sure yet, but we suspect these criminals might be using the elephants as living storage units for smuggling. The officer elaborated on the disturbing tactics. It seems they force the elephants to ingest containers filled with ivory, then ship them by sea to evade traditional security checks. Captain Rita was horrified by the sheer brutality of the scheme. But why was this elephant left in the water? She continued. Seeking clarity on the disturbing scene they had encountered, during the officer's briefing, Captain Rita sensed that something was amiss. The officer reluctantly revealed a troubling possibility. It's likely that the items were thrown overboard in an attempt to dispose of evidence, should they fear imminent capture. Both men exchanged troubled glances, the weight of the situation settling heavily between them. The ongoing rescue mission was morphing into the opening chapter of a grave investigation into sinister deeds. As Captain Rita stood on the deck of the Coast Guard vessel, his attention was drawn to a sleek speedboat that had been lingering near the horizon, initially spotted out of the corner of his eye approximately an hour earlier. He had dismissed it due to his preoccupation with the ongoing rescue of an elephant. Now, his seasoned instincts kicked in. Signaling potential danger from the elusive vessel, Malik, he called out to his vigilant young crew member, keep your eyes on that boat, don't let it out of our sight. Malik nodded, his gaze fixed on the suspicious speedboat. Abruptly, the boat charged towards them at an alarming speed, they're heading straight for us. Malik exclaimed, Captain Rita's mind whirled with possibilities. Could these individuals be connected to the elephant's plight? Swiftly, he commanded, everyone, to your battle stations. What had started as a tranquil rescue mission was quickly escalating into a tense standoff, as the crew of the Sea Guardian assumed defensive positions, the Coast Guard ship maneuvered to shield the recently rescued elephant, Malik, get the rescue helicopter on the radio, Captain Rita ordered urgently, Malik tuned the radio frequency and broadcasted, rescue helicopter, this is Sea Guardian, realizing the gravity of their situation, he added. We have an emergency situation, a hostile vessel is approaching our position, we need immediate air support, the helicopter, having only departed a short while ago, responded promptly, turning back towards them as the speedboat continued its rapid advance, from his strategic position aboard the Sea Guardian, Captain Rita observed several armed figures on the approaching speedboat, despite his escalating heartbeat, he maintained his composure and addressed them through the loudspeaker. This is the Sri Lankan Navy, stop your vessel immediately, disregarding his command, the speedboat began to zigzag aggressively, evidently attempting to evade potential gunfire, it was clear to Captain Rita that they were determined to close in on the Coast Guard vessel, ensure the elephant's safety at all costs, commanded the Coast Guard captain to his team, what followed was a high-stakes pursuit across the expansive open waters where the Coast Guard ship executed a series of strategic defensive maneuvers, their dual objectives were clear, safeguard the elephant and apprehend the culprits involved. Although the vessel was not originally designed for high-speed chases, its use in this situation was critical in blocking the path of the suspect's faster speedboat. Captain Rita, with his expert seafaring skills, managed to keep the adversaries at a distance, however, he was acutely aware that this approach could only work temporarily, just when it seemed the suspect's speedboat was about to break through their defensive line, 
a loud whirring sound pierced the atmosphere, help was on the way, on the horizon, a helicopter sliced through the skies, its arrival timely and formidable, the speedboat's crew. Realizing their disadvantaged position against this new aerial reinforcement, made a frantic bid to escape, undeterred, Captain Rita was determined to prevent their escape, in a bold tactical decision, he maneuvered the Coast Guard ship to intercept the fleeing speedboat, forcing it to abruptly alter its course. This sudden diversion caused chaos aboard the speedboat, and in the turmoil, one of the criminals lost his footing and plunged into the chilly waters below. Man overboard, cried Blee. One of the crew members, despite the intense pressure of the chase, Captain Rita's commitment to human life, even that of a criminal, remained unwavering. He immediately ordered his crew to launch a rescue operation. While they worked to save the fallen man, Captain Rita kept a vigilant watch on the remaining suspects still aboard the speedboat, ensuring that justice could be served without loss of life. Do you have any thoughts after hearing the above two stories? We'd like to hear your thoughts. Tell us in the comments section. That's all for today's story. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you next time.